Hi, this is Jonathan. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, we just discussed, discussed talking about V-Edge devices and how to deploy them. Let's talk about C-Edge devices. Um, and we're also going to talk about the net challenges we're going to face when we're in NAT environments. So uh, V-Edge is the Viptela branded, well, not branded, but the Viptela piece of hardware. It's a dedicated SD-WAN solution. Um, the C-Edge is the that same SD-WAN software running on a, a Cisco ISR uh, G2 or an ASR. It's basically a, a, a Cisco 4000 or a 1000, an ISR, uh, ISR 4000 or a 1000 ASR. Okay? Uh, and we're gonna, at the end of this, we're going to basically, you should be able to figure out how to deploy those, uh, know how to deploy the C-Edge devices, how to deploy the V-Edge devices, and some of our deployment challenges in, uh, in network address translation environments. Okay? So, uh, requirements for a C Edge, which means this is the SD WAN software running on a Cisco router. Um, you have to have an ISR or an ASR uh, running a, a newer version of Raman. Um, and then we, if you want to interop, uh, inter interrupt with existing V Edge, you need at least 721. And remember, V Manage has to be at least the same or higher version of any V Edge or C Edge software. So if you try to run V Edge software that's a little higher than this, the uh, V Manage, it's not going to be able to register to the device. So if you do, do, uh, if you do plan to uh, upgrade, uh, up deploy the system, upgrade your vManages before you uh, upgrade your vEdge devices. And we're going to talk about that in our OMP, uh, uh, OAM uh, section later. OK, so how do we do this? Uh, manually, uh, basically, we're going to perform a C-Edge manual upgrade, uh, make sure we meet the prerequisites. Uh, basically, we're going to copy the I iOS image uh, onto the router. And then we'll reboot it, and then we'll perform initial router configuration. Uh, if you've ever upgraded iOS on a router, it's essentially the same process with a few extra steps. So first thing we need to do is we need to pre-provision the router in vManage by using a couple of these methods. All right. Uh, we're, first, we're going to click that Upload WAN Edge list in the Configuration Devices window to upload the file manually. Uh, this is basically the same as we do for vEdges. We're just going to do it for a C Edge, the same for a C Edge. And then we're going to click Sync Smart Account to sync the WAN Edge list directly from your smart account. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, that's another option. So the first option is we can upload the WAN list. The other option is we can connect to the smart account and bring those devices into the environment. Um, and then we, after that, we copy the SDWAN software image to the router's boot flash and by using any file transfer protocol such as SCP. Um, though I'm still favor, I still favor TFTP because I'm really old. So. Um, once the file's in there, uh, we're going to show a boot var. Uh, basically, we need to set a boot statement, so boot system, flash, etc., and then the file for the uh, SD-WAN software. Uh, make sure our config register uh, allows the uh, booting off of the software. Uh, basically, it should be confreg2102, just like any other fully operational Cisco router. Then reboot it. Um, after the router reloads, we're going to execute the following command. Request platform software SD-WAN software reset. Uh, be advised, your router has any advanced features like unified communications, a UCS module, wide area application acceleration. Those are going to be disabled, uh, which, which is why we're going to discuss leaving those routers in place and integrating an SD-WAN solution next to uh, the brown, in, in a brownfield deployment as opposed to a replacement of the device. Uh, the command completely removes everything that's not SD-WAN related. So if you have a bunch of DSPs or a UCS E module in there, all that configuration is going to be removed. Okay? And all interfaces are going to be shut down. So this is, if this is a live environment and you copy this software, reboot to it, you're going to lose all the configuration you had before. So be advised, this is a change in operation of that piece of hardware. So after it reboots, we need to shut off the, public, uh, the plug and play service. Okay? We'll, with a, the, the, it, by issuing the command PNPA service discovery stop, um, and after that stopped, you can manually enroll the new C Edge router. And when you see that, you're going to notice that we're actually doing this a, a very similar configuration to what we were doing with the v, other V Edge devices. All right. So we're going to do a config transaction. It looks like config T. It feels like config T. It's a little different. We're going to go into system, check our host name, <coughs> our si system IP, our site ID. Sorry, right, let me correct that. Uh, the IP address of vBond, just like before, and our organization name. Remember, we said before the organization name has to match exactly. We mean it here too. All right, we're going to go exit. And we're going to create a tunnel interface, okay, uh, and we're going to make it IP unnumbered to the physical interface that we're going to use. 
Um, and I'll show you this. The interface number is going to bind to, we're going to be tunnel 1 for gig 01, tunnel 10 is going to be gig 010, tunnel 100 is gig 100. Okay? These have to match. And then the tunnel mode is ST-WAN. All right? Then we go into ST-WAN configuration, go to that interface, and then specify it as a tunnel interface and give it a color and, uh, and then an uh, encapsulation. Okay? So we're going to have to configure the tunnel interface twice, right? So we're going to configuring the tunnel interface here under the, this interface tunnel, and we're configuring it here under the physical interface. Just note that we are configuring that twice, and those much, must match for the uh, tunnel to come up. So here's some mapping, initial configuration for tunnel interface mapping. Um, if it's gig 00, we're tunnel 0. Gig 0 0.1, gig 0 0.1, we're going to be tunnel 1000. Uh, and, and so on. Um, and remember, the tunnel interface number must match the WAN interface used. So uh, this must match. Okay. And you'll notice that Ethernets are, are uh, start with a 4,000, and uh, serials start with a uh, 5,000. And there's a little formula there for determining what that number is going to be. Okay. And if you're using a local root uh, certificate authority, we then need to copy that root CA chain to the router just the same way we were before. Okay. And then we're going to do a request platform uh, to install that CA cert right here. Uh, basically, uh, this is the manual way to set up the C Edge, V Edge, and uh, V Edge Cloud devices manually. Um, we're also going to be talking about uh, using plug and play and zero touch provisioning, uh, but that's in the next set of slides. Thank you very much.